In the secluded secrecy of some backwater, the Prime Minister, accompanied by Admiral Sir Roger Keyes, watches troops perfecting themselves in making shore landings from invasion barges. For obvious reasons, the scale of these exercises cannot be disclosed, but what we do see affords us food for speculation. The first time we saw these tight barges was back in the days of the Norwegian campaign, and a lot more water has flowed under a lot more barges since then. Someday Hitler may get the surprise of his much too long life. One man's guess is as good as any other, but surely nothing would make Adolf bite lumps out of his Berchtesgaden carpet more than if we were to hop in through one of his back doors while he's tied up in knots in Russia. Anyway, you can be sure of one thing. We're not doing all this intensive training for nothing. What Britain wants most of all now is for every man and woman in the factories, the war workers on the home front, to redouble their efforts for the crippling blow for which these long rehearsed exercises are a preparation. Fight on the seas and oceans, on the beaches and on the landing grounds, in the fields and on the hills, to victory! <laughs>